So the first thing I'm going to do um, is add my assets and liabilities to uh, my report. So you can see here I have I've written a SQL statement, um, just a simple select statement, and it's basically saying um, I want the name of the type of account from my account type table that I showed you, um, the name of the account, and then here I'm saying if I if it's an asset, then give me the debit minus the credit. If it's a anything else, liabilities, equity, give me the credit minus the debit. Um, and then um, here I have a sort field. And then all I want to see in this one, in this section is the assets and liabilities um, that are less than the date. And I'm going to show you how to put a parameter for the date. So I'm going to copy this out and put it, let's connect to the database, go to the database expert. And I did that by right clicking on the database fields here. And then database expert. Okay, so here I'm going to, I have a connection here to my database. I'm going to add command, double click. And then here in my box, I'm going to paste in my select statement there. And then I'm going to create a parameter called date because I want to be able to fill that in instead of have hard code it. So date. And then it automatically defaults to 12 19 2003. And that's what I'll, and that's today's date. That's what I'll do. I'll keep that. Okay. Now here I'm going to get rid of this hard coding and then double click on my parameter and you see it puts it in for you. Say OK. And then it's asking you to enter your date, which I do here. I'm going to leave it as the default, and then I'll hit OK. OK. And then I'm also going to hit OK here. OK. So now you see I've connected to my SQL statement, and I've got my fields right here. So let's go ahead and add, actually, I'm going to end this here. 